I am Lucy from Book Widgets and I wanted to hit you up with a new feature that will make your grading even more efficient um, and will save you some time. You know the Grades and Reporting tab. You go to My Courses and you can find all your students' answers. So we have all the questions in your homework, uh, exercise, test, um, assignment. You will find them all here. And below, of course, you can find the submissions of your students. Here it gets interesting. So normally, I'll show you what you can do, what you could do before with book widgets, is enter a summarizing comment for your students here. You can also enter comments below every single question here. Okay. What you can also do is change the grades like this. And you can also, let me show you, mark things as correct. So this is also correct. This is correct. And you can maybe enter in your students, answer and give a comment. Spelling. But mark it as correct as well. So those are the things you can do. Enter comment below every single question, enter comments in your student's answer, and enter a comment as a whole, a summarizing comment here. So now we've also added some filters that might help you grade even faster. We do get a lot of requests from teachers and we saw that one function in particular that being able to only see the answers that need to be created might save teachers time. So in this case, that's what we did. So again, when I open just an exercise or a student work, I click on the student and I could use this filter here on top. When I use this filter, you can see that the filter means to hide correct answers, which means, of course, to only show the answers that are wrong. So these answers might need your attention. You might want to add a comment here, um, pick out spelling mistakes, something like that. Um, and it will also show answers that need your attention that still need to be created. So almost all non-automatically graded questions will show up here. You still need to enter a mark. When I've enabled this filter and then I click on the first question, if I want to grade question per question, the filter will, en will be enabled here as well. So I will find only the students with a wrong answer for this particular question. So this might come in handy as well to get a nice overview of what students need some more attention to this question. So you might, next day in class, you might get them together and explain something, explain this question to them again. If you disable the filter, you will see all your students listed here with their answers to this particular question. Again, if you enable the filter, you can just jump to the next question and only see the wrong answers for that particular question. The next filter is called group identical answers. So when I click on this one, we will group identical answers. So you can see that just one student added this answer. There is another student of two. So there are two students that entered this answer and there are some other with just a single other answer. You can click here on number of answers and then you can also see which students that answered in that way. So Dimitri and Freddie Johnson both gave this exact answer. What I can do here and what makes this filter so interesting is two things. The first thing is that you can enter a comment for the complete group. So well done. And this comment will be added to Dimitri's work, but also to Freddie's work on this particular question. So that's the first thing. The next thing is kind of figuring out if your students work together or not. Of course, a lot of students can just answer a question right 
or wrong in the same way. But it really stands out if your next questions are exactly the same as well. So just jump to the next question and here again go looking for exact answers. So here number of answers two. Again, Dimitri and Freddy. So this indicates that they have been working together on homework, which was actually not my intention. So that is the second filter. There is another filter and that is the sort filter. So you can sort fil students by name and by submission date. Normally all your students come in sorted by name, but you can sort them by submission date as well, which means that New students coming in will be showed, the answers will be showed on top. You can find them immediately if you want to grade them. Another interesting thing is, of course, using all the filters at once, group identical answers, but also use the height correct answers filter. So you will only see the answers that need attention and you can give group comments on those answers, on those questions. Thanks for listening. I really hope this feature helps you out. Just let us know your feedback. Let us know what you think of it in the comments. Goodbye.